Matt's side in the Hilton Coliseum here in Ames, Iowa with more of the 2005 World Team Trials. This is the women's 59 kilo category, 130 pounds. We're looking at Sally Roberts and Tella O'Donnell. Tella O'Donnell out in the red singlet, Roberts in the blue singlet. Okay, let's go. Yep. Again. Sally Roberts from Colorado Springs, the national championship, the national champion. O'Donnell also from Colorado Springs. O'Donnell wrestles for the Dave Schultz Wrestling Club, the former wrestling club, I should say, while Roberts represents the Gator Wrestling Club. Both athletes here basically in a square stance and really liking to work ahead. And I, I'd say that, you know, this is one of the, uh, the first opportunities that people in the state of Iowa really have had to see this caliber of uh, competition here in women's freestyle. And, and uh, I don't think the ladies have been, you know, I don't think they've disappointed as far as how what they've exposed, uh, you know, the people in this part of the country to. Do some good techniques and, uh, it, you know, it's, it's, it's different from the, the, the body styles and all that, but uh, the, the techniques that they've employed have been pretty impressive. Good technique is good technique. It doesn't make any difference who executed. You have to appreciate technique for what it is. Yeah, there's a shot. O'Donnell moves to the out of bounds. Hey, hey. They're in the down position. And O'Donnell picks up the point. And she just basically yeah. drove through and got opponent off the, uh, you know, to walk off the edge of the mat, and that's always a point. So O'Donnell goes up one to nothing as we're under one minute to go, and this is the first period between the national champion Sally Roberts in the blue singlet and Tella O'Donnell in the red singlet, the winner of the challenge tournament. Now Sally Roberts. In 2003, won a world bronze medal. So it's a little bit of experience again. But these are both experienced women wrestlers. Yes, they are. Now you've got a situation here where Sally Roberts, in a, oh, nice uh, uh, tilt attempt there by O'Donnell. I don't know how exactly they're going to score that. Looks like they're going to score a three-point move. Referee gets confirmation. He threw up three, got confirmation from the judge, and so... Jumps out to a 4-0 lead. O'Donnell goes up 4 to nothing. That's pretty... Pretty tough lead. That's pretty impressive right there. In on the leg, stepping up. And she puts the leg in, work on the ankle lace. High leg scissors. The referee's going to bring him up to the feet. Actually, it's going to be the end of the period. Nice, impressive period for O'Donnell, and she kind of answers uh, Roberts. Uh, Roberts, I believe, won the first match. Sally Roberts won the first match, two periods to none. She won period number one by the score of five to three, and she won the second period four to one over O'Donnell. Here's the big scoring. We've just got the shoelaces on the backside of the hamstring right there and just steps up and rolls through. That's just one of those things where you just feel it and you just go ahead and bring them back on top. And as long as you, you know, it looks like you're in control and you can take the opponent to their, from their feet to the back, you're going to score it every time. So you go with what you know, that's exactly the way that one ended. We move ahead to the second period, scoreless as we are at the beginning of each and every period. Tella O'Donnell out in the red singlet, Sally Roberts in the blue. Again, uh, O'Donnell really holding position pretty well. She's got uh, uh, moving well, using her forehead to block off any shots, attempts. And she's wrestling about a half a head lower. And that takes away something a little bit from your opponent if you're going to come to half a head lower routine. Right, and what I like about them, they're, they're just not getting ear to ear in here. They're, they're, they're using their heads really well and, and, and clearing off. And now Robert's uh, in the front headlock position, really trying to make O'Donnell work hard. O'Donnell comes out of that pretty nice, holds position. Tella O'Donnell was six in the 2004 Olympic Games. That was at 55 kilo. And right now, Sally Roberts gains the top position, picks up a point in so doing, under one minute here. Yeah, that was kind of off of a weaker uh, attempt by O'Donnell, with kind of an uh, arm throw that was not very successful, warded off pretty well, and Roberts gets a, a point plus another point. Actually, she got two points on that, Jim. She did not get a confirmation on the first point, so it's two to nothing right now. Sally Roberts. Yep. Fingers. 
O'Donnell had a slip throw there. Now, this nice shot here by O'Donnell, but she's able to, uh, Roberts able to get off to the side. Ooh, nice tilt action right there, taking it right to her back, and O'Donnell's got to be careful here if the fall ends the match. O'Donnell put into a danger position here. Yep, 10 seconds left. But I think she can hold on. She and holds on, she'll have life in the third period. <laughs> that's right now, the score is five to nothing. Sally Roberts, and that's exactly what she does. She holds on, fights out of the pinning situation. The second period goes to Sally Roberts by the score of tie five to nothing. We're tied up at one period apiece. While they take a break, we'll take one, two. We'll be back in just a second. We're Matt's side in the Hilton Coliseum here on the campus of Iowa State University with more of the 2005 World Team Trials. Well, we're underway in the third period now. Taylor O'Donnell having won the first period four to nothing. Sally Roberts winning the second period five to nothing. This is the period that will decide this particular bout. Once again, to win a spot on the United States team in the world championships, you've got to win two out of three bouts. And Sally Roberts won bout number one earlier today. If O'Donnell was to win this period right here, she would win bout number two, and then it would be tied at one apiece, Jim. Yeah, and you see O'Donnell kind of hanging on that left side collar. Roberts is kind of rushing her in the blue singlet, and then she's able to come inside with that left-hand collar, and, and, and Roberts is having a difficult time with that. Now this time she's able to get, uh, get free from it, but she's having a difficult time with that left arm of O'Donnell's controlling her head. Well, we come down to the one-minute mark here in the third period. We're scoreless. Nice single-leg attempt by Roberts. Steps up. She comes up instead of driving in. That gives O'Donnell a chance to score here. Again, uh, a situation where kind of a high-risk move there, almost looking for an inside trip that really wasn't there. It gives uh, uh, Roberts an opportunity to score. No points yet. She pops the head. She can pick up the one point. They're in a wizard situation here, and O'Donnell doing a nice job of bailing out of this. Now they're in a throw situation. Head up will probably win this scramble. The person who keeps their head up will win this scramble. They both do, do a nice job of bringing their heads up together, which made it a neutral position. They both did a nice job on that. You're 100% correct as we have 15 seconds remaining. We finish this period scoreless. We'll flip a coin, and we'll go to the freestyle clinch. And it looks, that's, looks like that's what we're going to do as the clock moves down and we're going to go to the coin toss and the winner of the coin toss will have to execute a single leg clinch after which she clinches. She'll have 30 seconds on which to score or her opponent will receive a point and that would be the point that would win this period Looks like and win the match. Looks like O'Donnell Break. Red is uh, on defense, and she was a little confused. He thought she won it. O'Donnell has to give her a leg. She's got to put a leg out there. That's Sally Roberts. Can take. Yeah, and she's not she's not really letting her in there that far. She's got to let her in. And this is where the, the jockeying that goes wrong. They want to get as close as they can, then they blow the whistle here. Well, they got it. Roberts got in on the leg. Let's see if she can finish this. She's got 30 seconds to do so. I think she did. I think she scored off of that. That's two points. The match is over. And Roberts has made her way to the world team. Sally Roberts rolls over. Della O'Donnell picks up the two points, that wins was, this third period, and was, wins a spot on the USA team. That was hard fought, though. Those were not uh, easy match situations. And uh, Tell O'Donnell did a nice job there of uh, competing all the way through that series of bouts. O'Donnell was reluctant to give her the leg, but by rules she had to put the leg out there. Well, it, it, she gave up the corner. Roberts did. She gave up the corner. and looked like at this stage O'Donnell had the advantage. Roberts does a nice job of picking her head up right there. And he put her weight on her right hand. She came up and stopped that, that position. She was able to keep O'Donnell from coming around the corner. And now she's at a position where she elevates that heel, and when you elevate the heel, the back's going to go to the, get be exposed to the mat, and that's exactly what happened. Well, that's what happened. She picks up two points, and Sally Roberts goes on to win a spot on the United States team at the World Championships coming up in Budapest, Hungary. She's standing by with our Joe Miller. 
Sally Roberts, member of the women's world team, uh, you had to go three, four periods there that last match. Talk about uh, going uh, the wire to win it here. Oh, you know, um, the first match I, the first match that Taylor and I wrestled, I pretty much went out there and dominated. So I came in to the second match with the expectation that she was just going to come and hammer me. And uh, so I just wrestled way more conservatively the first period than I had in the previous matches. So with the conservative wrestling that I demonstrated in the first period, she definitely won that one. So I just had to go back to the calm sense where I was at my first round and my first match and just get back to where I was at. We'll be back to the 2005 World Team Trials at the Hilton Coliseum in Ames, Iowa, right after this timeout.